Welcome to our fairy tale. I say fairy tale, but for most of the inhabitants of this story, it's more like a nightmare. You see, most people here live in poverty and squalor. Not because there's no money or food to feed them, but because the evil king, King Contino, has hoarded it all for himself. One day, the evil king summoned to the castle his master builder, Lockwood, and insisted that Lockwood build a wall between the king and all the poor people in his kingdom. The king was tired of having to look at the poor people, and he threatened his master builder that he would kill everybody in his village if Lockwood didn't comply. The master builder reluctantly obeyed. So, Lockwood started building the king's wall. But unknown to the king, his master builder also built an exact replica of the king's castle on the poor side of the wall. That night, Lockwood and his friends crept into the king's castle and very carefully carried the sleeping evil king out of the castle, through a hole in the wall, along the city streets, and into the replica castle, all without waking him. In the morning, the master builder called the evil king to his balcony. The king, groggy with sleep and still drunk from the night before, came to the balcony where the master builder proclaimed that the war between the poor side and the rich side was now complete, and that all that was needed was for the king's final command, and the hole between the two sides would be sealed forever. The king, pleased with the work of his master builder, ordered him to make sure that all the poor people were on the other side of the wall. But Lockwood was a good man and wanted to give the king one last chance to see the error of his ways. So Lockwood reminded the king that by sealing the wall, he was dooming the poor people to a life of hardship without any of the resources on the rich side of the wall. But the king just laughed and said, well, that's the point, you idiot builder. Now get on the poor side and seal that wall forever. And so the master builder did his king's bidding, for to do otherwise would be rude. He was the king, after all. And the king was happy with his day's work until he noticed a strange smell. He realized that he'd been outsmarted by the idiot builder, and now his castle was crumbling. So let that be a lesson to all wannabe evil kings who want to build walls, for you never know which side you might end up on. The End